Hello friends. Today we are going to read Gobi's Noisy Best Friend. The author is Sheila Deer. The illustrator is Anjora Norona and the publisher is Pratham Books. So let's read Gobi's Noisy Best Friend. So who is Gobi? Gobi is a type of fish and here, this here is Gobi. And it sounds like he has a best friend who is very noisy. So who could that be? You can see that this, whatever this is, is making some noise over here. Let's read more about them. Gobi and Snap lived deep down in the blue ocean. They were best friends, but they looked so different from each other. So here is Gobi and here is his friend Snap. And they look very different, don't they? This is a, a fish that has so many fins and a long body and no legs. And this is his friend Snap that has all these legs and these things from her nose. They look different, but it sounds like they are best friends. How do you think that happened? Let's see. Gobi was a fish with seven fins and no legs. He had very powerful eyes. Snap was a pistol shrimp with many legs. She had big noisy claws, but she could not see very well. So these two are very different. How? Gobi the fish has seven fins and like all fish, he doesn't have any legs. And Snap is a shrimp, a pistol shrimp. And Snap has many legs. Look at all the legs. And she also had these big claws that were making a lot of noise but she couldn't see very well, whereas Gobi had very good eyes, very powerful eyes. Click, click, clickety clacket. Oh, oh, what a racket. The noise from Snap's claws scared away many animals in the ocean. So Snap's claws, his hands, right, with the claws on them, every time they move, they're making a really loud sound. Click, click, clack, clacks kind of sound. And this noise was scary to some of the animals. If you hear these loud noises, you could get scared, right? All of these animals got scared when they heard that loud noise. Snap's eyes were weak, so she often got lost in the dark ocean. Click, click, clickety clacket. Uh oh, what a racket. Don't worry, her best friend Gobi was always nearby to take her home. So Snap couldn't see very well, so she got lost when it was dark in the ocean and oceans are dark there is no light under there right and so she got lost but her friend Gobi was always there to take her home because he had powerful eyes and he could see very well in that dark. Snap shared her cozy burrow home with Gobi. She clawed away any sand 
that fell into the burrow. Click, click, clickety clacket. Uh oh, what a racket! Their home was always clean and tidy. So Snap lived in a burrow, a hole in the mud in the bottom of the ocean floor, right? And it's a burrow and Snap shared this home of hers with her friend Gobi. And if there was any sand that kept falling into the burrow, she would claw it away with her claws. And every time she moved her claws like that, click, 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 when they were uh, clicking against each other, they were making a really loud sound. But their home was always clean. One day, Gobi went for a swim on his own. Ah, no more loud clickety clacks, he said. Do I really need such a noisy best friend? He wondered. So one day what happened? Gobi went for a swim all on his own without snap. And it was very quiet. It was peaceful. And he started thinking, oh, what is the use of that noise? Why do I need it? Can I just be on my own? Let's see what happens when he's on his own. Suddenly, Gobi spotted two bright eyes in front of him. It was a big, hungry sea bass fish. Time for a Gobi fish sandwich, said the sea bass. It swam closer. Oh no, what happened? There is this big fish, much, much bigger than Gobi. Gobi is a small fish. This is a sea bass fish and it was big and hungry and it wanted to eat Gobi. And so it came closer to Gobi. What do you think happened next? How is Gobi going to run away from this fish? Gobi closed his eyes, shivering with fright. Click, click, clickety clacket. Oh, oh, what a racket. What is that terrible noise? Asked the sea bass. So here is Gobi in front of that sea bass and he is so scared. He's just, he's closed his eyes and he's just, you know, closed and he is shivering with fright. Oh no, don't eat me. But then the sound starts coming. Clickety clacket. What is that? You know what that is, right? But the sea bass doesn't. He has not heard that noise before and so he is like oh god what is that noise and he is doesn't know what it is it was snap click click clickety clacket uh, oh what a racket it was too loud for the sea bass it swam far far away so what happened here? Snap came there. Snap is Gobi's friend and he must have thought, oh, there's Gobi, let's find him. And she must have come closer. And so at that point, when, she, when Snap is swimming, her claws are making a sound, right? Clack, 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 clack. Very loud sound and the sea bass just could not take it. And the sea bass swam off far away from Gobi and Snap. Whew. Gobi hugged Snap. What would he do without his noisy best friend? So Gobi is now relieved. Gobi is safe. The sea bass has gone away. And Snap has saved him. So Gobi is now hugging and thanking his best friend.
spot the pairs. Friends stick together and are always ready to help each other. The goby fish and the pistol shrimp are famous best friends of the ocean. Can you spot other pairs of friends from this group of animals? Cattle egret, bees, cow, hermit crab, spotted deer, langur, snail, stork. So in this story, you saw how Gobi and Snap are friends that stay together and they help each other, right? They, they have, each of them has their strengths and they help their friend. And similarly, in the animal world, there are other such pairs of animals that stay close to each other and help each other. And these are all pair, uh, these are all animals that can be paired up that way. They are friends with one other animal in this list. Do you know any such pairs in this list? Let's read more about it. Here are all of these animals. One is the cattle egret, two is the bee, three is a cow, four is a hermit crab, five is a spotted deer, six is a langur, seven is a snail, and eight is a stork. So let's see how these animals stay together in pairs and help each other. Meet these friends. Storks and bees. The stork uses its sharp beak to cut up the dead animals it eats. Sometimes bees come along and use the dead meat as a home for their eggs. So this is a stork with its sharp long beak and this is a bee. How do they help each other? So the stork uses its beak to cut up whatever it eats, dead animals, whether it is a fish, whether it is a rat, you know, things like that. The, the, the stork would cut it up and there would be some leftover meat, right? At the end of it, there is some leftover meat that is dead meat and the bees would lay their eggs in that meat. They would lay their eggs there and it would become a home for them because other creatures don't go near that meat once it's gone. You know, it goes bad. And so the eggs are safer there. Cattle egrets and cows. When a cow walks in the field, bugs on the grass fly up in the air. Cattle egrets follow the cow and eat the bugs. So, you may have seen these cattle egrets and cows. How do they help each other? So the cattle egret stays close to the cow. Sometimes it even sits on top of the cow. And when the cow is walking, there are little insects in the grass, right? And they are pushed out, you know, they fly up in the air to avoid being st stomped, to, to avoid being stepped on by the cow and when they fly up in the air, the cattle egret goes and grabs the bug to eat, grabs that insect. So that's how they help each other. And the, the insects are bothering the cow, right? Instead of the insects are like sitting on the cow and uh, annoying it, the cattle egret eats it. And that's how the egret helps the cow. Hermit crabs and snails. 
Hermit crabs live in snail shells that the snails have left behind. So a hermit crab is a type of crab that doesn't have any kind of shell or covering around its body. So it, it is not safe, right? Some, some bird or some other uh, creature can come along and eat it or it can it can be unsafe for it and so what happens with a snail the snail some uh, every uh, every now and then the snail throws away its old shell it grows bigger right than the shell the snails will leave behind that old shell and grow a new shell and so those shells that the snails have left behind the hermit crab goes and lives inside it so that it is safe. Spotted deer and langur monkeys. When spotted deer sense danger, they stamp their hooves to warn the langur monkeys. The langur monkeys scramble to safety high up in the treetops. In turn, the langur monkeys drop leaves that are food for the spotted deer. So how do these two animals help each other? Where are deer? Usually they are on the ground. They are on the ground like you and me. And langur monkeys are jumping around, climbing trees, doing things. And so when the spotted deer senses something happening, some, some tiger is coming, some lion is coming, something dangerous, right? Some animal is coming, big animal. They stamp their hooves, their feet. They stamp it. Why? They can warn their friend, their friend, the langur monkey. And the langurs immediately climb up on top of the tree uh, all the way to the top so that they can stay safe. And in return, what do the langurs do? They, when they are up in the trees, they have all of those leaves up in the trees, right? And they shake the trees and they drop the leaves on the trees so that the spotted deer has the leaves for food. I hope you enjoyed this story. Thank you. The difficult words in this story are Gobi, a type of fish with many fins and very powerful eyes. Pistol shrimp, a type of shrimp with a loud noisy claw and poor eyesight. Burrow, hole or tunnel dug by small animals as a home. Racket, loud noise. Cattle egret, a type of bird that eats insects kicked up by cows when they walk on grass. Langur, spotted deer. Hermit crab, snail. Try these questions. What is this story about? What did you learn from it? Do you have a friend whom you helped who also helped you? How did you help each other?